Hi everyone, I'm Tom Sherry. Here at Creme 2, we are committed to preparing you for the winter ahead. And it looks like we're going to have another La Nina winter, which means it could be a wet one. Here's meteorologist Jeremy Legoo with a look at your long range winter forecast. Ah, thanks Tom. Yeah, this year's shaping up to be cooler and wetter than normal here across the inland northwest. A La Nina advisory has been issued for an 87% chance of La Nina conditions this winter. And that's good news for skiers and riders. La Nina is the name for a colder than normal sea surface temperature in the equatorial Pacific. The impacts of cool temps change weather on a global scale. A dip in the jet stream over the northwestern U.S. correlates to more moisture and cooler temperatures here in the inland northwest. Now that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to need one of these, but cooler temperatures means less rain and more snow, and that that snow is going to stick around a bit longer. Now that's great news for snowmen and sled hills, but it also means you're going to want those snow tires so you're not stuck in the snow all winter long. In Spokane, our average winter temperature hovers pretty close to freezing. That means a small deviation in that temperature can have a drastic impact on the amount of snow we wind up seeing in winter. You cool things down just a little bit and that snow will start piling up. An average winter in Spokane gives us about 46 inches of snow or one Camilla all said and done. Now a La Nina can be anywhere from below that to way above it, most notably the winter of 08-09 gave us one mark's worth of snow. Except for Mark, I'm gonna need your help and you're gonna kinda have to step on that stool quick for me. Ready? All right, that seems about right. Now, just because this much snow falls doesn't mean you wind up with this much in your yard. It'll actually melt a little and compact and if you guys could lower down for me just a little bit, you'll wind up with a little less in your yard all said and done. So with a La Nina forecast, it's likely we wind up somewhere between Camilla and Mark on a stool. Believe it or not, last year's La Nina gave Spokane more snow than it typically sees in a winter. It's just those warm cycles that we saw that melted all of that snow down into the river. The unique geography of the inland northwest means that we can get some drastically different climates existing within a relatively short distance of one another. One such example is the Central Valley. It sits in the rain shadow of the Cascades and typically doesn't see as much moisture as other parts of the region. A typical winter in somewhere like Moses Lake will see about two feet of snow. And while La Nina might deliver more than average when it comes to snowfall, don't expect much more than that. Coeur d'Alene sits on the other end of the spectrum. Just 30 miles east of Spokane, the North Idaho town on the water breaks some 70 inches of snow each year. To put that in perspective, I'm six feet tall. That's about at my eyebrows. And this year, we could stack up even more. Sandpoint, that typically sees a bit less than Coeur d'Alene and it's a similar story over in Deer Park. Last year's La Nina delivered in the mountains. The Cascades saw a 10 year high when it comes to snowpack. Even the Northern Rockies saw an above average amount of snow despite an abnormally dry late winter and rapid snow melt come spring. The optimist in me already has my season pass in anticipation of a deeper snowpack and more powder days. But, and it is a pretty big but, not every La Nina delivers more cold and snow for the Northwest. It's just that the overall global weather pattern favors more snow and colder temperatures on average. That's great news for the ongoing drought conditions across the inland northwest. The slow melting snowpack not only replenishes groundwater, but it also keeps rivers and streams running strong well into next summer. For Creme 2 News, I'm meteorologist Jeremy Legoo. The Storm Tracker 2 team will keep you informed this winter. We will alert you through our newscast, through creme.com, and our Creme 2 News app. Thanks for watching. I'm Tom Sherry. All right, here's the man himself, Jeremy Legu. Yes. I kind of think it works out perfectly when we get a lot of snow in the mountains, but down here in the valley, not right. so much, right? right. I mean, uh, what are the chances really of that easier. happening? <laughs> you know, we saw that last winter, yeah. but then it kind of dried out in the end. I would also love that, but I really think we are trending a bit cooler as we head into this winter, and my yeah. hopes are up for snow even here in town. I mean, the bluff, you could ski the bluff, Mark. People do. <laughs> yeah. People ski and hike back up, man. Oh, it's, man. Yeah, That's not me. That seems like a lot of work for a short ride, but... <laughs>
Yeah, you know, yeah, you, know. you might be up for it. I thought it was really <laughs> interesting how, you know, when we hear that it's going to be um, the same type of forecast as last year, mm -hmm. doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be the same type of winter. Yeah, so basically what happens with the La Nina is based on temperatures. Mm -hmm. If it's colder than normal, you know, yeah. La Nina in the equatorial Pacific, that can mean anywhere from a degree to three degrees. Mm -hmm. And that difference really moves the jet in a big way. So you have to look at the severity of it and how we set everything up. And with that polar jet, oh, it's a game changer for us. <laughs> Quick question for you. Over the summer, I believe we were somewhere like at a five inch deficit in terms of our drought for water. Mm -hmm. Do you think a La Nina has a chance of wiping out that, that deficit? Yes, and actually we have seen that in the past in California. They had mm -hmm. a big year when it came to snow and that actually wiped out their drought, but unfortunately we've seen them slip back into it. Right. And for us, we're already starting to see improvements as we see more and more moisture in fall. So as we go through winter, odds are pretty good that we get out of it. This is where we get all that moisture that we need in the summertime for yes. next summer, right? Yeah, right. absolutely. Quickly want to put Jeremy on the spot. Have you purchased your season pass ski ticket yet? <laughs> uh, I said I did in there and I... Uh, <laughs> Oh, I see. Oh, it's a I, little fib. Uh, yeah, it was, it was a bit of a fib. I, I know which one I'm going to get, but then I keep waffling. So I have purchased two already. Oh, and wow. so neither one is for here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so two, one's for up in Canada, one is for out in another state. So I, I yeah. need one here. Yeah, okay. Well, well, you have lots of good choices. That's the good thing. Yeah, for sure. I, I can't make up my mind. <laughs> Jeremy, thanks so much.